Tillman here with an encouraging word for you today from my devotional, TGIF, Today God is First. Today's message is entitled, Unlocking the Power. I in them and you in me, may they be brought to complete unity to let the world know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. John 17, 23. There have been certain breakthroughs in the world that have changed the course of history. Electricity, the automobile, the atom, and the telephone, to name just a few. If we never recognized the applications of these inventions, we would still be sitting around in the dark, riding horses and communicating by Pony Express. However, we have seen the opportunities and the applications, so the world is a different place today. Jesus made a profound statement that has the potential to change the world if we simply apply this truth. What if I told you that this one truth would allow people to see Jesus and respond to the gospel like nothing we have ever experienced? It is the key to unlocking the door of salvation to so many that remain lost, yet it is the one thing we, as his children, fail at the most. What is this one thing? It's unity. Lack of unity among his body of believers prevents Christ from being revealed to so many. Efforts had been made, but our body remains fragmented and weak. Consider that there are more than 24,000 Christian denominations in the world today and five new ones beginning each week, according to a 1999 September issue of Moody Magazine. Does this sound like unity? God has called each of us individually and corporately to represent Christ to the world, but our independence, pride, and ego prevent us from becoming unified in the purposes of Christ. Are you a catalyst for unity in this body or an instrument of division? Are people seeing Jesus because of the unity they see in your family, your church, and among your workers? The old adage, united we stand, divided we fall, is not just a good battle cry. It is a spiritual truth that will determine the fate of many souls. Pray that God will allow you to be an instrument to unity for his body. You know, this is an area that I've worked on for many years, and uh, it's an area that I see so difficult to pull off because of the uh, territorial competition and the donor protection and things like that among ministries. And, you know, we need to understand that God owns it all, and he is a provider of everything that we need, so we don't need to protect those things. So I want to pray that you might... uh, you know, be more focused on unifying with others in the body of Christ for a greater cause. Father, we thank you for this admonition out of John 17, 23, that we are called to unify as the body of Christ in order that many will believe in you. Show us how to be better uh, disciples of yours by unifying with others in the body. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day. 